What's going on everyone? My name's Tenebris and with Atomic Heart launching in just 6 days, we don't have too much left to talk about before the game launches. After covering everything from weapons to powers, plot and everything in between, I've got just one last topic I'd like to talk with you all about, and that is movement tech in Atomic Heart. <laughs> So, Atomic Heart's movement is an interesting case. In most of the footage we've seen so far, I don't think we've seen very good movement at all. Now, that's not to say that Atomic Heart has bad movement, because on the contrary, I think that there are a ton of options at hand that will make movement in Atomic Heart really awesome. But sadly, I just don't think any of the movement systems have been really well displayed. And that's because gaming journalists suck at video games for some bizarre reason. But woes of the gaming industry aside, let's show off a bunch of the movement stuff we've seen so far in Atomic Heart, because when we get to playing it, I'm going to be finding ways to unlock this movement system and really get us flying around all the robots and mutants that we'll be fighting along the way. The most essential piece of movement is also one that needs the least explaining, but will have the most use out of all the abilities in the game. Dodging. From the looks of things, we have one dodge to work with that has a slight cooldown, possibly. Or, the person just wasn't spamming that dodge button enough. But it gives you a quick burst of momentum in whatever direction you're headed in, which will allow for dodging quick attacks and making distance between you and whatever you're facing. I'm hoping we'll see some upgrades for dodging along the way, but even if we have just one dodge to work with, that will likely give us enough time to do what we're here to do. Kick some frickin' robot ass! Dodging will be essential to staying alive in this game, and adds a huge feeling of rhythm to combat. It'll be the bread and butter of tackling this utopian Soviet dystopia, and I have so many questions I'm going to be figuring out about dodging, from any possible iframes to maybe dodging in the air if possible. The next piece of movement I've seen in the leaked gameplay more so than anywhere else is a falling roll, which seems to happen automatically, though it might take something like crouching along the way. This is more so a save for fall damage, I believe, but might be useful again, maybe in combat, by jumping off something, doing a roll, and then dodging and chaining some of this movement together. Now, the builds of Atomic Heart have changed along the way, so the questions we'll have when we get to the game's launch is if this role is still around and how it entirely works. If it's worth mentioning, we'll be talking about it for sure somewhere along the way. So for another movement piece that will need little introduction but will be massive for how we fight and explore the world, vaulting up ledges and over small obstacles. When jumping at a ledge, your character will vault up over the side, and this again just has me thinking on how we can apply this in combat and stuff. But for exploration, this will be key for solving puzzles and maybe reaching hidden locations and areas. And the final piece of movement that isn't really movement tech, but more so just related to movement, over-encumberment. Funny enough, I think uh, out of all of the movement things in this game, I think this will be the one to get the most people killed. The loot and scoop can be a powerful one when you have a vacuum cleaner literally built into your hand. When over-encumbered, you move drastically slower, and when fighting swarms of enemies or boss enemies, you really don't want to be lagging behind. So this is where being decisive and choosing between looting and fighting will come into play, I think. You'll want to stay light while you fight, and when you need to upgrade stuff, you can go through the areas you've cleared and hopefully loot to your heart or hands content. 
So that's what we know so far for movement. It's a pretty solid array of options, from dodging to vaulting, and there might be even more options in the game, which again launches on the 21st, just a few short days away. So before we let up, I've been taking it kinda easy here on my channel, purely because next week is going to be insane for me. We have not only the launch of Atomic Heart, but an update in Generation Zero that I've waited a long time for. So for now, I'm staying kinda quiet, but next week we're gonna have a freaking hurricane of content. So for now, thank you for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.